All right, just a quick update for February. All nine of the m 40 are out and about. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All nine are out. I've been waiting to catch all nine of them out for quite some time. And as you can see, when I back up, they're filling up this enclosure quite well. So these guys are still growing like weeds. Um, I'll be feeding them all in a minute. So maybe I'll get a little feeding video afterwards. But there they all are, out and about, and I don't see this very often now. This is really cool for me to see. <clears throat> and um, first time I've caught all nine of them out in quite some time, and, and luckily they're sitting here posing for me. So, Okay, another quick update on the M. Balfouri communal, because I have a lot of people asking. I just dropped in about ten large crickets and... You can see here the majority of them are out and eating. I'm probably not very happy with me shining a light on them. Um, oops, sorry guys. But yeah, they're still doing great, still eating like pigs. That one that's climbing up right now just molted. You can see the tiny abdomen, so I'm hoping he or she grabs a cricket pretty soon. Um, and then you can see a cricket over there. Somebody asked in one of them if I'm concerned with the crickets being loose, with the spiders in there or attacking a molting spider. The reason why I'm not is because if anything hits these webs, these guys come running. So if one of them's molting, usually they molt underneath or inside the web, and there's usually one or two of them around them. I wouldn't necessarily say that they're guarding it. I have heard of that. Oh, that was fantastic. Nice. Yeah, I finally grabbed one eating or hunting. Um, I wouldn't say that they're guarding it per se, but I would say that if a cricket gets on that web, as you can see, they, they get snatched up very, very quickly. So I'm not too, too concerned with the stray cricket getting loose and attacking one while it's molting. Um, it was a big concern of mine at first. I was wondering how the heck I was going to get around that because I do take, if I drop a cricket into a uh, tarantula's enclosure and it doesn't eat it right away, I always take it out. And in this case, it's a little, you know, it's difficult to do it, but um not really a concern. They, they'll they take care of it. They seem to police themselves. So again, not I haven't seen that guarding behavior per se. I just think it's more that they kind of huddle together. So if one of them is in pre-molt, there's other ones around it that are going to take care of any errant prey that might come by. But yep, still doing great. And see a couple of them up here. I don't want to aggravate them too much. That one's nice and hunched over and eating. And there's one that's actually eating one upside down up here. Here. I don't know if they can come through. But yep, they're still doing great and uh, looking forward to rehousing these guys. Not really. Um, that should be a, a blast, but that's going to be coming sooner than later. They're kind of a good size for this enclosure now. I'm guessing probably another molt and uh, it'll be time to put them in something bigger. So that'll be another whole um, bunch of uh, videos there. Probably one big long rehousing one. So M. Balfouris doing great.